that gave came from the east. Four of them came from Egypt. So how did four of them end up in their mind? Our forefathers had knowledge of building bricks in Egypt during the time of Pippin and Ramsey, and we were back then in certain times of history that our people were there building certain things, and we need to know these things so that we can teach our children where we came from. Mm -hmm. Who are these people? Those people of North and South America, the Negroes that came on the slave ships, the Benjamites, the Nations, the Haitians, the so-called, even the so-called Dominicans. You see Dominicans down there in St. Domingo, they're darkening up, man. Mm -hmm. How do brothers get on that island before Columbus? Y'all the one that got the Cubans, the Cabonians in here. Where they come from? Those are Israelites. Egyptians, you know, they got on the island of Egypt. Where they come from? The the Incas had their temple in the mountains. The brothers down there in the island and certain areas, they didn't go far as the other side did. But they came from the east. Pyramids came from Egypt. So how did pyramids end up in their mountains? Mm -hmm. Our forefathers had knowledge of building bricks in Egypt during the time of Pippin and Ramsey, and we were back then in certain times of history and our people were there building certain things and we need to know these things so that we can teach our children where we came from. Who are these people? Those people of North and South America, the Negroes that came on the slave ships, the Benjamites, the Nations, the Haitians, the so-called, even the so-called Dominicans. You see Dominicans down there in St. Domingo, they're darkening up, man. Mm -hmm. How do brothers get on that island before Columbus? Y'all the one you got the Cubans, the Cabonian Indians. Where they come from? Those are Israelites. And you go down there, everybody sees Mexico, you see a Spanish white woman dancing in the street with a big old dress on, talking about being Mexican. Ah, 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 ah. The real Mexicans are them brothers wearing them big old sombreros. Mm -hmm. And they bound to the brothers and they play that music. Mm -hmm. Those are the real Mexicans, man. Mm -hmm. They're not Negroes that migrated down there looking for refugees to Jamaica or Haiti. Mm -hmm. That don't make you a river car like mm -hmm. The man is where you come from. You come out of the Bible, Jacob, Corsi, Flesh. His father had a son, and the sons of Jacob are correctly put on his sign so you can understand who you are. So we are children, Corsi, Flesh. His father had a son. And the sons of Jacob are correctly put on in time so you can understand who you are. So we're going to show you today that our people been all over the planet and they left records and they left records of their DNA. We're going to talk about the Middle Ages here. Revelation chapter 20, we're going to start at verse 1 and 2. And I saw an angel come down from heaven. And a great king of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. So this is that that's coming from the heavens. The bottom of the pit is talking about Europe at this time. And he laid hold of his dragon, and all serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him 1,000 years. Y'all hear that? Who is that old serpent called the devil and Satan? In Revelation chapter 12, the angel told John that the same thing. They were talking about the seven hills and ten horns that would come out of the Greco Roman Empire later on down the road after the Middle Ages. And they named it that so you can know and count the number of the beasts. As it says in Revelation 16, 18. It's the number of a man. Who is it? Who is it? It's the so called white man. Mm -hmm. The family group that started off from the Greeks and the Romans and the Spanish and the French all the way up to America. That's who they are. So the most high put a chain on this man. That old dragon, he fought mm -hmm. for 1,000 years. And then they did what? They bound him for 1,000 years. Now we're going to show you how this history ties in with the Eastern Roman Empire known as Byzantine. And what happened in them times. 
Con Corona de la Isla, Capo Poli, no está de vuelta en el sol de hoy. El buen estado de Dios fue el estado, se quiso a mi luz out of his presence. When did that happen? It's going to the record. The Byzantine Empire. Also refers to the Eastern Roman Empire was a, uh, was a combination of the Roman Empire and Eastern Providence, the Middle Ages. What are we? You remember? They go up in there. Just like today. We live in New York. We live in Chicago. We live in North Carolina. We started all over the place, right? Mm -hmm. If these cities go down, we got a mind they go so much. So back then, the Roman Empire had split to the east and the west. And the most high was growing something from the heavens to bring this to pass. It was called the Middle Ages. The capital uh, was Constantinople. And it uh, was surrounded by the fragmentation of the fall of the Western Roman Empire which existed for a thousand years in the fall of Constantinople to the Ottoman Empire in 1453. So this part of the Roman Empire, which Israelites were in there, during that time, they had a church that they built over there, like I showed you in the seven churches of Asia Minor. All Israel did was took those buildings and they utilized them and they use them to put pictures in there for mm -hmm. services because when you go to um, Matthew 26, 17, the disciples kept the high holy days and the feast days and the law. So when they went up there and set up those congregations up there, the, the congregations followed in the footsteps of the teaching of the disciples in my chapter. So when they established those congregations up there, the Roman Empire was being controlled by the Most High. Who controls the kingdoms of men? The Most High does. Let's prove that in the book of Daniel. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the book of Daniel, people. Let's go to the book of Daniel. So when the time came, he held, he took that angel and laid hands on that oil circuit, the devil and Satan. So don't think the right man is running this earth by his own power. The most high got it in church. We have to understand the most high ways. We have to understand that the most high rules in the kingdom of men. And that no one else rules this planet but him. And we're going to show you today in the book of Daniel how the most high rules. Because we got to stop giving love to the damn white man. And Satan is at his and his enemies. But that's who the white man's God is. Mm -hmm. The hour rule up in the kingdoms of men. And he takes down, pulls down, sets up who he wants, what he wants, how he wants. So man won't get confused and pride will come from man that oh we doing this. And the white man did this. White man ain't do nothing. Go to the book of man. Right? Let me show you what the Lord said to Nebuchadnezzar in that back then. Here you go, wait. It says, Daniel chapter 2 and verse 20. It says, it is written in verse 20. It says, Daniel uh, answered and said, Blessed be the name of the Holy Father and of the wisdom and mighty head. He changes the times and the seizures. Don't we have seizures and times down here? What are we in right now? We're in the winter month. Right? Going in the winter. And it says, He removed kings and set up up kings. You hear that? So the kings of the earth who are ruling now are ruling through the power of the most high. He said in Job 9.24, He gave the earth into the hands of the wicked. So everything that's going on right now is operated by Yahweh, by Shimon Shah, and the host of the angels in heaven. And it says, He gave wisdom unto the wise and knowledge unto them 
They understand and uh, would understand it. That's the nation of Israel. That's us. So when the Most High pulls down a kingdom and sets up a kingdom, it's by His will. So when He lays hands on, on that surface, that old devil called the devil and Satan, that was during the time of the Byzantine Empire and the Israelites who over there in Eastern Europe. That so-called Jew knowledge unto them, they understand and uh, we understand it. That's the nation of Israel, that's us. So when the Most High pulls down a kingdom and sets up a kingdom, it's by His will. So when He lays hands on, on that surface, that old devil called the devil and Satan, that was during the time of the Byzantine Empire and the Israelites who over there in Eastern Europe. There's a place that they built that is still standing in the day. Mm -hmm. Y'all ever heard of Haggai Tokyo? In Turkey? Now, this is a temple that they built. You remember, Jerusalem had fallen, and the temple of Solomon was destroyed. The apostles went out before the destruction of the temple of Solomon, and these brothers were over here in these areas, and they built things and put pictures on the wall. And these pictures were found in Russia and Eastern Orthodox churches. Where did they come from? They came from the Israelites that were there first. Even though that was part of the Roman Empire, Israel was up in there, weren't they? Aren't we in the American Empire now? Mm -hmm. We're part of the Spanish, the French, and the British colonialists known today as the Americans. So back then, the brothers were in that part of the earth, as it was foretold in the Bible, and it had fallen after a thousand years. This empire right here is a part of the Byzantine Empire. Here's the first king over there they had set up over there called Justinian. You see that here? Justinian of Byzantine. You see the color of this man? He was a so-called Negro. This kind of, these congregational meetings over here at first, when you look up on the wall, you see these pictures up here of black Hebrew Israelites and black pictures of Mashasha. You see that picture right here? This is from Moscow in Russia. How did the Eastern Orthodox so-called whites? And let me show you something this year. You can do this research yourself. Go look up any Eastern Orthodox church over there in Russia today. Look at this. I'm going to put this on the corner. For all the guys to see. Mm -hmm. First, Facebook. Look at the whites carrying black icons of Jesus and the disciples. Mm -hmm. This is the Eastern Orthodox Church today. Here it is. On Google You see that picture there? That's a black Jesus on the cross. White men in Russia carrying a black Jesus. So what the hell is going on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Come. Something happened, didn't it? Who is this guy? The first so-called churches that we in Florence over there, they took over. You gotta remember, Whitey came in after the Ottoman Turks came in and they fell in 1453. They had the Renaissance win in the 1500s. That's the next class in cities you're gonna do. Mm -hmm. This is when they came to destroy and they came out of the bottomless pit of Europe after we held them down through the power of the most high for 1,000 years, called the Byzantine Empire. And over there in those areas, you got pictures and icons. Here's an icon here of Canis. Remember Dalton Canis? Mm -hmm. They're black. Mm -hmm. They're called Negro. These are people showing you that the Jews are black. Over here, you got Mashasha, and the Samaritan woman 
a brown skin, my Shasha, mm -hmm. and a brown skin, Samaritan woman, which would be an Ethiopian woman today. How come the pictures over there are brown, but when you come to America, everything looks like this? Mm -hmm. Those other nations know the Jews are dark skinned people. They got the icons on the wall. And when they were over there, this is what they did in their time. They took chapters from the Bible, and the Israelites were inspired by the pictures on the wall. And they had the services up there, and like I said, they were keeping Passover, the box, and the paper, Mashasha at that time. Mm -hmm. For 1,000 years, they were over there, and you got these pictures of Christ and his mother, and the entourage of the brothers back then. You got pictures of Mashasha being a black man, people like Justinian, Pickles, they were over there, they were Negroes. Mm -hmm. They called them so-called Christians. Remember, they called us Christians first. What were we? We were Israelites. Mm -hmm. What was Paul in Romans chapter 11? He said, I am an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. Who are our brothers and sisters to Panama and Santo Domingo and Puerto Rico and Manasseh? They are Israelites. So, what was going on over here in the East and what was going on over here in America, that was called the Middle Ages. That's when our people went off. And there was a group of our people that kept the faith of Mashasha after the teaching of the apostles. And they stayed in rulership people for 1,000 years. That was called the Philippine Empire. These so-called whites know this. That's why they got these icons of Mashasha over there, and another icon of Jesus Christ, Eastern Orthodox Church. What color? Is that not a Negro? Y'all want to see it on camera? This is live and they like Facebook. Mm -hmm. See that brown skin Mashasha, mm -hmm. the Afro? Mm -hmm. Google me. Brown skin Mashasha, Jesus Christ. Eastern Orthodox churches, now today invaded by Europeans who are still carrying through the streets of Europe mm -hmm. black pictures of Christ and his mother and the disciples over there on the walls of the mm -hmm. churches. So what happened? Mm -hmm. Look up. Over there in the Americas, everything turned white. These stories in the Bible, these feathers and conspired by the biblical stories of the Bible, and it kept these things over there at that time. So now we go back to Revelation and show you what happened. It says, Revelation chapter 1, 20 verse 7, and it says this, And when a thousand years were expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. This is what we got to understand. After the fall of Jerusalem in 70 AD, after the fall of Jerusalem in 722 BC, when we split up with our brethren in the same time, Israel was going through phases of what? Captivity. The Mashasha was set in the last days for what? The arising and falling of many in Israel. Let's read that out of the Bible. Let's go to that. Mashasha was set for the rising and falling of this great nation, the 12 tribes. In the last days, we're going to be lifted up by the knowledge of salvation in Mashasha through the plans of the Most High. We ain't going to get out of here because we're forming these cults and church groups and lying pastors and ministers to save us six, the mark of the beast, the customs of our forefathers, which were. No, we're not just out of here like this people. This is what repentance means. Repentance means acknowledging sin, turning from sin, turning back to the most high, and coming to the straight gate, and working out your salvation of fear and trembling. But my son, my Shasha, let's go to the book of, uh, of Luke. We're set for the rising and falling of many in Israel, and this is the only way Israel is going to be lifted up. Why is it all these governmental programs? I'm not working for our people. 
Don't go across the map and don't find work, too. Why do you think we got all them damn churches in our neighborhood and ain't one of them working for us? Why? Because it ain't the most high work. This is not what he did for us. It says here, Luke, chapter 2, and we're going to go to uh, verse uh, 232. So we're going to start at uh, verse 30. This is what this brother said there. This brother was making an announcement back then because he had saw the straw being born. Israel was under the Roman occupation, and back then, our forefathers saw my shasha in the mm -hmm. basket as a little kid. They were like, mm -hmm. that's him. That's the Savior. That's the Shah. Look what he said. Hallelujah. Uh, For my eyes have seen thy salvation. In verse 30. Wait a minute. That brother said that? Yeah, that was my shasha, man. He was found in this in that time when he was on the earth. This brother here. Which God has prepared before the face of all people. So everybody on this earth that will know in the last days that my Shasha Jesus Christ is set up for us to come back in these last days and as a savior, a shot for the nation of Israel. Y'all saw See what it says here? A light in the lighting of the Gentiles, meaning the other ten tribes, and the glory of thy people Israel. So the Israelites are going to be raised up, and the Gentiles who see this, this ain't for them. They're going to see this, and they're going to marvel. They're going to say, these niggers and wet facts that we put down for ages, they're the most high chosen people. They're going to rule next. They're going to lose their damn minds. Because they're going to remember what they did to us. And what we're going to do to them, according to Revelation 18, they can be double slavery, double castration, mm -hmm. double, double, double. Everything you can think of might be to do to them. According to the law, they're going to get double, double. Uh, uh, for what they have done to 12 times. Uh. And Joseph, and what? And his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. And Shammai, blessed them and said unto Mary, his mother, behold, this child is set for what? For the rising again of uh, uh, fall and rising again of many in Israel, mm -hmm. and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Okay. People speak against the knowledge of salvation in my child. They speak against the Israelites that believe in him. Most of y'all trying to keep the law to get into the new kingdom, but you trying to bypass the shore. Mm -hmm. With the same power of Israel that you believe in, mm -hmm. take them as Sh your shot, Sh as your savior. Sh this is the one spoken of in Isaiah 19.20. Let's, Let's go there real quick. Let's go, there. Let's go to Isaiah 19.20. You want to go to the Old Testament and show them in the New Testament and show them in all the books of the prophets. Because this is key for the prophet's sake of it. See what it says here? And it shall be for a sign and witness in the, uh, in the Lord, uh, of the Lord of hosts. In the land of Egypt. Where are we now, people? Revelation chapter 11, verse 8 says, We are in the land spiritually known as Sodom and Gomorrah and Egypt. The 12 tribes of Israel wasn't foretold in the Bible, Deuteronomy 28, 68. The Lord said, I'm going to bring you all into Egypt again with, with ships. The word Egypt means bondage. Mm -hmm. So he brought the Israelites, the northern kingdom first, then the southern kingdom. After that, we all came to this land on ships from Israel. That is our heritage. That's our resting place, and we have forgotten this thing because the Lord God put it to sleep for a dispensation of time. But now these days, it says in Romans chapter, uh, the chapter of Romans, mm -hmm. it says, Awake, awake, the heart is sleeping. For your salvation is here and in your way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See? And it says here. 
Well, they should cry to the Lord at the time of the oppressor. What are the tribes crying out for now? Haiti, Campbell. Thank you, Domingo, Campbell. Panama, Ethan, Vanessa, all the land of Israel, poor Israel. They're running for their lives across the border of the USA. Down in St. Philomene, where I got before, that Shemaraman and Levi, as you said in the Bible, they shall not be united. That wicked Spanish government is kicking the Haitians up mm -hmm. the land of uh, Simeon and sending them over there, and they got a war set up. They tell you that in Hosea chapter 2. That was the northern and southern kingdom, and they said, we're going to run into a war. Mm -hmm. Ain't that going on now? Mm -hmm. The wall is up, and the people are trying to escape tyranny and oppression, and they crying out. Well, who are they crying out to? The idols of their father. Mm -hmm. You must return to your hollow, like we read last time. Turn from the idols and to the living your hollow. Mm -hmm. Because now we need the most high, because the people are being judged. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be judged first. Mm -hmm. So in these last days, you're going to cry out. Mm -hmm. Because of the oppressive, the Spanish, the French, and the British government that's over us right now, maybe to heal things. See? And it's in here. So they shall cry unto the Sahara because of the oppression. And he shall send them a savior and a great one, and he shall deliver them. The shout uh, of the law. Ashasha, and Yayasha, the Horoshai, say the old truth, is coming to save you. You must accept him according to this prophecy and according to this Bible. He didn't just die for one tribe, he died for all the tribes of Israel. And all of us can be saved by believing in Ashasha and returning from our stiff neck and rebellious ways and turn it from them damn jungle gods, the damn sun, and all the other powerful nations our people are dealing with, and especially see the Moses, the second son of Jeff Alexander, the sister of Rome, the murderer. He was a general in the damn army. You better read that book by Sarah Bracken. The lot of time will see the body. Well, I might take a trip one day for a documentary mm -hmm. go over there to Vienna and show you that bastard's grave in the ground. Mm -hmm. And they got him buried over there. Mm -hmm. And the people in the church, oh, no, I hope he had that. Mm -hmm. I don't care what color he is. Mm -hmm. As long as he died for me, this man ain't died for you. Yeah. This man killed you. You color struck Negro, what's in the Puerto Rico? Mm -hmm. You're a color struck man. That's the first girl of Negro. Or Blank or Hesso Castro Diablo. Tell your people, man. The color struck for these damn white people. When they see the white man, they go, Oh, when Montezuma met Cortez, what happened later on down the road? Then he killed Cortez, he said, come here! Hey! <laughs> he went in the damn palace and robbed everybody, took the women, took the damn land and killed all the men, and the Mexicans became drunk us down there. Mm -hmm. In the land of Shamaha. When he went to Puerto Rico, they saw him come on the beach, they said, this is, I don't know, whatever you say in your mind. That was the devil coming in this mm -hmm. If East Wind come up, Hosea, Deuteronomy said, the evil has landed. And he landed right on top of this nation right here, and he's just plucking at us every set of it. And now it's time for this damn devil to be exposed for who he is. And that's why the Lord calls him the revelation. What? 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 What do you call him? The devil. And I saw him coming down from heaven, down the key of the bottomless pit, which is yours, and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is called the devil. The devil. That's who this damn right. man is. That's right. And the most high laid his behind out for 1,000 years, but that's what's coming. Verse 7. And when a thousand years were expired, Satan shall be loose out of his prison. When did the white man escape from Europe? In the 1500, they formed the seven European nations over there. The common market is all bubbling. There's a kingdom that were in Europe during the time of Caesar. They had a meeting 
Paul. Counselor Trent. Yes. Talk to us, Section 1452. In 1452, that's when the Israelites fell over there. And I'm going to show you what happened there. See what it says here? When you should go out to uh, deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the globe, God and Magog, to gather them together to battle, and the number of them uh, is as the sand of the sea. So what do you do? What do you appear to? Who's running down to make our now? Do you not the Russians? Or not the Russians over there got thousands of nuclear bombs? These people are destructive monsters. Mm -hmm. They go next door to their neighbor and kill them, rape their women, murder everybody, and then they cry and I'm talking about white people have brought peace to the earth. They don't kill themselves in World War I, World War II, now we're going to World War III. When are they going to learn to stop killing each other? Mm -hmm. These bastards spend $90 million dollars on weapons of war, and you can't even get a job making $5 an hour in this damn country. Mm -hmm. But they spend all that damn money over there in Ukraine. Why? Because they a white kind of heart under democracy. And the 12 tribes of Israel need to turn to the east and search out the most high the hour knowledge so we can be saved out of this damn pit of fire that's coming. Mm -hmm. And it's coming, brother. Come. It's coming soon. It says here in Revelation. Verse 9. Revelation uh, chapter 20, verse 9. And they went up unto the breadth of the earth and compared the camp of the saints about. That's when they took down the book of their body. You went down. That's the last stronghold of the Israelites that was in the Irish side. And keeping commandments, they went up to Jerusalem and besieged it and turned it into a state called the State of Israel. Mm -hmm. By the UN mandate of the British in 1959. Mm -hmm. And they went in there and took our land and they put the river up so called Jews. In our land. Mm -hmm. What it says in Jeremiah 9 11. <laughs> Y'all think that ain't in the Bible? Here, go right here. Go to Jeremiah 9 11. Did not the Lord say our land was going to be besieged mm -hmm. by a dragon? The dragon in the Bible is a white man. Thing. Jeremiah 9 11 says this. And you know what happened on 9 11, right? Jeremiah 1 14. The day of the Lord is near, the power fell. There you go. And I will make Jerusalem heat. So the Israelites fell worldwide. The last stronghold up there of Israelites in Mashacha was the Byzantine Empire. They were fallen by 1453 by the Ottoman Turks, which were Arabs. They came in there and slaughtered us. That's what they did, brothers. And they took the black Israelites that were over there in Europe, took our pictures, and took them to Moscow. Mm -hmm. That's why you got black icons in Russia. Mm -hmm. Here they go right here. He came from Russia. Mm -hmm. Russia is walking around with black icons. He's an Orthodox church. Church is a Masasha of Thomas, Daddy, born to his lips inspired by Israelites in the scriptures in St. John 20 verse 24 to 29. Mm -hmm. Mashasha black with a black Kushite woman from Samaritan in St. John 4 5 to 26. He identified himself as the shark to that Ethiopian woman and he told her salvation is of the Jews. Jews. He said you're not a Jew. That's what he told that Colossian one. Mm -hmm. And he said, all them damn men you lay with are not your husband. Mm -hmm. He said, oh, I see that you are a prophet. He said, yeah, if you mm -hmm. know who you was talking to, you would get down on the ground and give me a glass of water. Mm -hmm. He was talking to the most high son, wasn't he? Come. And then the last thing, these nations are bound up Come. by the power of your heart to my son. So what it says there in Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 11? And again, I'm proud so now, Jerusalem has fallen. 
The twelve tribes were fallen. Our land was destroyed and deceived by the Europeans. And it was foretold in Isaiah chapter 1. Listen to this. Then the Lord told us in the Bible, he said, wait a minute. Verse 7, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 7. Your country is desolate, people. Mm -hmm. Who's in our land now? To tell us damn right. Mm -hmm. Now just like the school and get the information from the minister of your area, look that book that I have called You and Gentile, the Controversy, Controversy of Zion. Mm -hmm. And you will read in there how the white man stole our land yep. and put themselves in mm -hmm. their dreams and called it so Jewish mm -hmm. after the records they got from us during the time of the Greeks. And then they right. sent you AD, they call themselves Jews. Because Jews are gone, they are. They're not Jews. And your cities are burned with fire. Jerusalem fell in 70 AD. The Byzantine areas went down and were burned by the Ottoman Turks. All the areas were taken over. And if you go over there now, in that place now, they put up the minarets. Of the Islamic world, and he took all the pictures off the wall, smashed all the black pictures, and put up white pictures. Mm -hmm. And then he put up Islamic symbols. Go over there and see it. Check it out. Islam triumphed over the West. The Israelites at that time, because the most power was using them to take them down. Verse 7 in Isaiah chapter 1. Your land, strangers, the violence, and your presence. Your so-called white man is in Israel. He devours your land right in your face. Tell my you want to go back to Africa. Land of hell is your land. Mm -hmm. You come from Jerusalem, man. And it was desolate and overthrown by strangers. And the daughter of Zion, which is Judah, Diana, and Issachar. Diana, Issachar. Is left as a cottage in the vineyard. You ever seen an old cottage in the vineyard? On the farm, you see it sucked down in the ground like this. The wall painting is off. You go over there, you open the door, and mm -hmm. ain't nothing there but cobwebs Cob. and dust. Mm -hmm. That's what you see amongst the other guys. Go to the damn nation, too. Mm -hmm. Go to the door and look at the What you mm -hmm. see in there? Dead work. Mm -hmm. You see our people in there in the damn pool. That's not the house of the most high. That's the house of the damn white man you put you in there. That's the slave master, task master, Negro, keeping you in check, putting you to work, and coming in there and pay the price, and the white man get all the damn money, don't you? Mm-hmm. So this is where we are in this captivity, brothers. Here it go right here. And as a large and a garment cucumber, and a besieged city, what happened to George Ford? Was he not besieged by that white cop? Mm -hmm. The brother only got, had a bogus check. Right. He went outside, that cop was like, Yeah, nigga! Nigga, 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 nigga! Choke, 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 and the brother died. Before that, Eleanor Bunker. Before that, mm -hmm. go down to Brazil. Go down to Jamaica. Go down to any of these areas where people are at. To police brutality. Cops killing black men. Choking you out. The black woman call the cop on you, they learn that slavery. Mm -hmm. And they come in there and beat the hell out of you with them damn billy clubs, don't they? So you ain't free, brother. We still in captivity in a besieged state of United States. What the hell is going on in Haiti? A damn turmoil. Mm -hmm. The people down there running wild in the street, killing each other. No government. There's democracy, no office. What about Jamaica? You ever been in Jamaica? Mm -hmm. Those dumb damn whites going there and rape the damn land. The people are living in huts. Begging for quarters in the street. I've been down there. In Kingston and all them alleys in Shiny Town. And you call this a paradise. I went down there and I threw up. I said, this is not a paradise. This is desolation, man. The people are starving. And the government's making all the money off the sex of our people. We are in captivity to this very day, and we must escape, escape by any means necessary, according to the Bible. Go back to Revelation chapter 20, mm -hmm. reading on. Uh, 
And it says this. And he went up into the breadth of the earth and compared to camp of the saints of God. And the beloved city, which is Jerusalem today, is besieged by white people. And fire came down from the highway out of heaven and devoured them. So you know how the white man gonna get out of Jerusalem in the last days? In the day of Armageddon. Mm -hmm. That's why we're telling y'all, don't go over there because Whitey is there. Mm -hmm. He is in Jerusalem, the devil, and you cannot get in there unless he wants you to come in there. Mm -hmm. Then he's going to restrict you with his commandos and atomic bombs that they have in the state of Israel today, which is a satellite state. Shut up, my wife. See what it says to me? Verse 10. And the devil that uh, deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophets are. America, the folks, the churches are going to be burned to hell tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And right. Right. the The folks are going to get it. The Catholic Church is going to get it. The Catholic Church in your land is going to get it. In all areas where they spread these deceitful and wicked ways. The most high they may come to destroy them up with fire. That mm -hmm. is that right. This is that right. Mm -hmm. Michael Jackson took his damn money and gave it to the white man. Mm -hmm. Damn fool. Mm -hmm. And now the white kids <laughs> running around with your damn slave name. He got all your money that you made. And you ain't got no kids because you offended and a child of that stuff. And got the nerve to put that crap on TV talking about Michael Jackson's kids. Oh, look. Oh, where the white kids come from? Damn. Those are white people. I'm Michael Jackson's son. I said, you ain't no damn Negro or West Indian or Puerto Rican. Right. Israel is brown skinned, beautiful people. What mm -hmm. the hell is that? It's a white man's baby. Mm -hmm. So those Negroes got the mark of the beast and the image of the beast and they call it crap. Mm -hmm. That's and this right. And this is why this man is exploiting our people until this very day. You want to escape? Come to the base and learn about it. Reading on. The false prophet, they all shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Judgment day is coming to the USA because what they're doing is they'll bring them to the fire of judgment. Written where? Right here in the Bible. Let's go to the Apocrypha. What's going to happen to all these damn churches? And the government? And all these institutions? Those are two called white men and got you in. Here it goes right here. In Ecclesiastes chapter 21, verse 9. The congregation of the wicked the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. After we fell, we're going to draw our next series next week called the Renaissance. So I'm going to show you how these people stole and put themselves into the characters of the Bible mm -hmm. and manipulated black people's minds and put this damn image and their false teaching into our people's minds. And I urge you brothers to get this book called The Religious Instruction of the Negro in the United, United States. The third book, and these people are telling on themselves and telling you in this book that all these so-called Negroes, whether in the Puerto Rican or in these denominational churches, you have been deceived by the devil, the white man. He's not a Christian. Read Matthew 24, 24. He's not a Jew. Revelation 2, 9 and 3, 9. So who is he? Who is he? He's the devil the Bible speaks of. See what it says here? It's like the toll wrapped together. Don't get wrapped up into the philosophies of the nations, brothers. You understand? Okay. You gotta break out with knowledge and escape. With what now? I'm gonna show you that. And the end of them is a the flame of fire to destroy them. You hear that fire in Revelation? Mm -hmm. That fire is going to come down in the last days on the Catholic Church, on the Baptist Church, on the Seventh day Adventist Church. So, you see all these churches right here? Mm -hmm. This is what our people will do. Come. 
This what got our people messed up today. Our people went together. We call this a nation. The Lord is damn denomination. This is not our heritage. This is not who the Lord told us to go to for the last day. He said, the elect of Israel shall know and the rest will be blind. The only way that the left of Israel is going to get this man, the rest of our people are blinded. And two thirds of us ain't going to make it. That's a lot of Negroes that's been going to be the way. So they're too brainwashed. They're non believers. Mm -hmm. uh, some of our people are just color stuff, man. They don't believe nothing you tell them. But if the white man talks, come and tell them. They will jump out the damn bridge, jump out the Empire State Building, head, head, head on to please this damn man in this system. And it's a damn shame. Let's go to Romans chapter 11, people. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Romans chapter 11. Verse 7. What then? Has you been out of pain that what you seek your for? What you looking for in here? Mm -hmm. Should you find the Lord in this damn place? Mm-mm. No, you just they say, but the election has obtained it and the rest will blind. You know? The election of Israel 